today we are going to talk about the importance of investment. But before we embark on that, I want us to differentiate between a business and an investment. A business is when you provide goods or services in exchange for fiat, providing value to someone and in exchange they give you cash like fiat. Of course, you are investing your time in a venture that might become an entity that others might invest in for you to pay them something like dividends. An investment is when you put your money in an entity or you invest in an entity. This time around, you are not the one doing the business. You believe in the entity, you believe in the business. Let's say you are buying stocks, you're buying Amazon. You believe in Amazon, you believe the company have a bright future, or maybe you are buying Apple, you believe Apple have a good future, or maybe you are buying real estate, or maybe you are buying Bitcoin. Right. But the end point is you are investing in an already established entity that can hedge your investment or your money against inflation. But you can start a business and it transforms to an entity that someone else can buy your stocks. You know, they can invest in your stocks to hedge against inflation. In essence, businesses tend to solve problems or give value to people out there in exchange. They um pay fiat, you know, or like it's more of generating cash flow that you can invest the cash in an entity to hedge against inflation. Let's say you have a shop right now and your investment capital was, let's say, 10,000 euros, right? And this 10,000 euros that you use to establish a shop is providing a cash flow, let's say, about $200 every day like profit, right? Now, what are you going to do with this profit? This profit is in the form of, of fiat. It has no intrinsic value, right? It's just there. And if you put this money in the bank, let's say you put all this profit in a bank, right? In the next five to 10 years, the value of that profit might reduce half or 10% or 30% of profit might just go away in the air because of inflation. If say, you don't understand inflation, then that's a whole topic on its own, but you have to understand that money has value only when it is scarce. And when government keep printing money without any real economic development or any reason for the money to, to be in circulation, it turns to inflation, prices of goods and services increases, and you who have kept your money in the bank. What do you think? If say you invested that money in an asset, let's say Apple, or you bought Bitcoin for ten thousand dollars, and maybe after ten years, as inflation increases, one Bitcoin become one million, or one Apple shares become two hundred thousand euros. Your ten thousand euros or your ten thousand dollars will become one million or one hundred thousand dollars. The problem with us right now is we don't look at the future. We don't see the future. We don't have the vision to see that. What we are doing now has an impact more in the future. So if you have cash flow and you are able to pay your bills, you're able to pay everything that you have around you and the rest which is left, like, you know, excess, don't put it in the bank. Invest it in an asset. You can buy land, you can buy bonds. But what I'm going to recommend for you to buy is Bitcoin because Bitcoin has proven to hedge against inflation over the past 18 years. Bitcoin was $1.00. One dollar, and right now Bitcoin is how much? Twenty thousand going to um, let's say one million, as analysts predicted. In addition, one thing you need to understand is this: when you have an asset that have value in the future, you can use that asset to borrow. And when you have borrowing power, then you are able to expand your business. Elon Musk had to liquidate most of his assets to give him the ability to buy Twitter. It's simple. When you have money in asset, banks respect you. Banks can give you loans, right? And when you get that loan, you have power, like you have power, you have cash to input in your business, generate more cash flow, you know, pay the rent, pay the loan and add more money in your investment. So that's the importance of investment. Now that you understand the importance of investment, you should allocate a part of your resources, your profit, invest in something 
reasonable. If you say you are having difficulties to sort out what kind of asset is good for you to invest in the long term, then feel free to connect with me. Let's discuss how we can, you know, build an investment plan for you five to 10 years that will make you massive reward. Go right now and start looking for ways to invest in the financial market. And as I mentioned, if you have difficulties, if so you need someone to help you as you embark on this journey, then feel free to connect with me. The links are below this video. Book an appointment with me. Let's have a one-on-one -on -one so that we can discuss more on how to go about it. Until then, guys, I wish you all the best. Bye-bye. <laughs>